Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Friday, November 20th. It was a beautiful sunshiny morning. Riley and I decided we ought to make some hay while we could. Brought in quite a bit more crushed up leaves, able to mow a little green grass, got that mixed in. Stick with us and I'll tell you the dirty little secret behind no till, no dig, deep mulch, weed free gardening. Come on, let's take a look. Riley, where are you? Riley? Come, come, go for Today, we added quite a bit of crushed up leaves around the edges. Me and Riley also added some more grass, some more leaves to the north end of the garden where we're gonna expand. We're in no hurry to spread this out. Now it really only takes about four inches to keep the weeds at bay. As you can see piled up against the fence, there's much more than four inches. This stuff breaks down very, very quickly. The better your soil is, the more worms you have, the faster they go through it, which is really good for the ground. It's really good for the plants for next year. Now one of the things, I would have normally just put this mulch down. So I can't really spread this out because of the plants that we still have going. And we do need some walking paths. Anyhow, so I piled it up in anticipation of spreading it out. Whether it's fresh cut grass, hay, mulched up leaves, or just straight raked up leaves. The order in which I put this down is directly dependent on the weather. I mean, it's really hard to mulch up leaves when they're wet. Really hard to mow when it's wet. But part of what we've been doing is taking out the old dead plants. All the tomatoes along this fence are gone. All the trellis tomatoes are gone. And as we're figuring out the deep mulch, getting the rest of the tomatoes that are done, I just cut and let it drop. Then we'll go ahead and cover this with more leaves, hay, whatever we can get our hands on. I just cut them off straight at the ground, leave those roots in. Now there has been some confusion between a hot compost and a cold compost. What's better for the garden, what's not better for the garden. What I use, what I don't use. I use it all. When I'm transplanting plants into the garden, I like to add a little hot compost. I like to add compost when I'm potting things, when I'm starting seeds, and when we're planting. For the hot compost pile, you want it at least three feet high and three feet in circumference. The bigger, the better. That way it will heat up. But the thing is, you gotta keep turning it. Now I've done several videos showing how we turn this hot compost pile over onto this side and then back. We did it all summer long. This compost pile is broken down well enough I used it to pot the peppers the other day. Why don't you take a look at something. I just turned this and look at the mycorrhizal fungi that is growing. That's what you want in your soil. That's what you want in your organic matter. That's going to bring up another question. I just did a video on how to get mold out of a houseplant container. If you got mold on top of your container in your house, not such a good thing. You got mold in your compost pile, terrific thing. There's a huge difference. We're not bringing this into the house. We're letting this just break down naturally. What are you doing? Riley, it's a no dig garden. Oh good boy. When Bruce Stout says add more, what exactly does that mean? If you look at these leaves, these were just raked up and dropped in here. That's over a foot deep but those are very loose. They're gonna flatten out just like pages in a book. How many pages in a book to get to four inches? So as we go through this and stir this up, and that's what we're gonna keep doing. We're gonna keep stirring it up. Then when we go to plant, you gotta go down to straight soil. So you move some more, you stir it up. You keep adding air. The worms keep adding air. You try to layer it in so you have some nice airy layers and then some little heavier layers. I set this here on purpose just to give you guys an example of what happens when you just leave this grass sitting on the ground. I want you to take a look at something. And 
and it's definitely not four inches thick on this edge, which I just turned. Look at what's already happening. That's why I'm in no hurry to turn the piles on the north side. Well, I need it out of my way, and since we spent the day adding deep mulch to the inside, let's go ahead and move this on over. I just want, I wanted you to see what happens when you leave this grass and leaves sitting on the ground in a little pile. Nice cold compost. And we'll take it and look how nice that is. And the deeper we get, the better it turns. There's already mold in the leaves. This will help break down what's already there. If you remember from the sweet potato video, this edge is the newest edge. It wasn't the best. But here's the dirty little secret. This grass had been sitting here for less than three weeks and look what it did to the dirt. That is the secret of no till. That is the secret of no dig. That is what deep mulch does to your soil. If you watched any of the videos this summer, you would see how hard this clay is. Look at that. That is beautiful. You could plant in that. And this small pile of grass had been sitting in this area for less than three weeks. That is the dirty little secret. It works. So that was the dirty little secret. If you want to know more about the deep mulch, click that link right there. If you want to know more about compost, click that link right there. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family. God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.